Africa has the potential to be a crucial part of the solution for the world. With our massive and tapped renewable energy potential, the world's youngest and fastest growing workforce and abundant natural assets, our continent has the fundamentals to be a major player in, th in the three critical areas needed to avert the climate catastrophe. One, protecting our natural carbon sinks. Two, greening global production and consumption. And three, removing carbon from our air. We know that the world's industrialized nations and fast-growing emerging economies will not achieve net zero goals within the timelines scientists deem necessary. This opens up huge potential opportunity for Africa, not just in limiting its own emissions, but in helping accelerate reduction of emissions elsewhere. This will not only help the world decarbonize, but it will also enable Africa thrive and grow. Growth, development, and living within planetary boundaries do not need to be at odds. A large young population that sees their livelihoods eroded, as was mentioned ably by Samantha here, and has no future prospects is a very destabilizing factor, both at home and, ab and abroad, driving migration and causing instability. I am delighted to discuss the potential that Kenya, and by extension Africa as a whole, offer along with our ambitious re resolutions to accelerate progress. The existential threat of climate change to humanity and indeed, to all life on Earth. And I speak this authoritatively as a scientist myself. Is now very well established. In 2023, for example, we broke many records. We do not wish to, nor can we afford to break again. The hottest year on record was 2023. The wettest in some regions, the driest in others. The first four months of this year have also registered record warmth, with each month being the hottest on record. In Africa, climate change is central to our development challenges. Kenya, as you've heard from my sister Samantha, is currently experiencing one of the worst floods on record following years of devastating drought. And as these events become increasingly uninsurable, they undermine people's livelihoods and of course financial security. Climate change impacts have affected the lives and livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of people, occasioning losses in GDP of anywhere between five and 15% annually in our continent. The rising costs of adaptation are diverting funds from essential services like health, education, social services, potentially destabilizing our continent and the globe in general. Climate change is a global problem that cannot be solved in isolation. As pioneers of efficient market solutions, we all understand that compartmentalization leads to sub-optimization. Failing to recognize and build on areas where partners and friends can be more efficient and effective together drives up costs and slows down transition and even undermines innovation. Our countries need transformational investment to build climate resilience, transform our economies, and respond to crisis. The world urgently needs to mobilize larger amounts of resources to facilitate green transition and tackle climate crisis. While I firmly believe in global collaboration, we must also recognize the necessity of long-term strategic partnerships. 
Supply chain disruptions during the COVID-19 pandemic have highlighted the importance of resilience. Growing global insecurity demands of us to recognize the power of meaningful collaboration and agency. I am delighted to discuss the potential that Kenya, and by extension Africa as a whole, offer along with our ambitious re resolutions to accelerate progress. The existential threat of climate change to humanity, and indeed to all life on Earth, and I speak this authoritatively as a scientist myself, is now very well established. In 2023, for example, we broke many records. We do not wish to, nor can we afford to break again. The hottest year on record was 2023. The wettest in some regions, the driest in others. The first four months of this year have also registered record warmth, with each month being the hottest on record. In Africa, climate change is central to our development challenges. Kenya, as you've heard from my sister Samantha, is currently experiencing one of the worst floods on record, following years of devastating drought. And as these events become increasingly uninsurable, they undermine people's livelihoods and, of course, financial security. Climate change impacts have affected the lives and livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of people, occasioning losses in GDP of anywhere between 5 and 15 percent annually in our continent. The rising costs of adaptation are diverting funds from essential services like health, education, social services, potentially destabilizing our continent and the globe in general. He understands better than anyone the power of nature to heal the planet by doing everything from cooling ground temperatures to sequestering carbon to preventing floods by absorbing excess rainwater. He has announced a goal to plant 15 billion trees by 2032 to increase Kenya's forest cover from less than 10 percent to nearly 30 percent. And we at USAID have been honored to support Kenya's conservation efforts, helping the country restore ecosystems, protect wildlife, and establish carbon markets that will help Kenya benefit from the incredible value that safeguarding these ecosystems creates for our planet and our people as a whole. It is easy to feel pessimistic about the climate crisis, but when I meet with President Ruto, I come away every time with a renewed sense of the limitless possibilities ahead and a deepened motivation to get back to work.